Hi, this is Phil from Teach Blend, and today we're going to have a quick look at Microsoft Teams custom backgrounds. So they've just released this feature, but one thing you can't do is add your own images yet. So this little video will show you a quick workaround how you can upload your own videos to have a custom background in Microsoft Teams. I hope you find it useful. So the first thing to do is just join a meeting as usual. And as you'll see, you'll have all your options such as being able to blur your background and choose an image but you'll notice that you can't yet upload your own image, but there is a way around this. So what we're gonna do is just turn our background image off for now, and then we're gonna to navigate to our computer, click this PC and click local disk. Once you're in here, you'll see some files and folders, but you might not see all of the folders. So you need to click on view and then navigate to the hidden items and make sure this is ticked. Once you've done that, you'll see all the files and folders you'll need to click on users. Once in users, you'll see a list of users and you'll need to select your username, such as Phil. Once you're in here, you'll see loads of different files and folders, but the one you're after is the one that says app data. Once in app data, click roaming. Once you're in roaming, you'll see some more files and you need to click the Microsoft file folder, not Microsoft Teams. Once you're in here, you'll see some more and you'll find Teams. Again, once you're in Teams, you'll now see a folder called Background. Here, once clicked, you'll see all of the backgrounds available, but also an upload folder. And this is the folder that you're after. So once we're in there, we can go into Uploads, and then I'm gonna to go to my desktop and drag in the picture that I want as my background, such as my college. It's useful to have a good quality image, such as a 920 by 1080 p now I'm gonna rejoin my meeting. As you'll see now, I can click down to the background settings and you'll notice the image that I have selected is the background. And you can do this as many times as you like. I hope you found this useful. Please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. Thank you.